Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today is a great day of my life. Okay. So, on behalf of Hyderabad branch of SRC of ICA, as well as Sikasa Hyderabad, I take pleasure in welcoming a very famous Tollywood celebrity, Sri Tarun Bhaskar Garu, to you, today's session, making it big, facing challenges with courage. I also welcome our Central Council member, C.A. Daniwa Sharma Ji, uh, Chairman 2019-20, C.A. Banu Narayan Rao, all members, students, staff of ICA, and their family members. At the outset, I am very thankful to Sri Tarun Bhaskar, sir, for accepting to speak to members and students of our profession. When the message of the talk was first circulated with members, I got many messages. Many of them were very happy and hailed it as a good, different idea. But there were few who were surprised and asked me what a person from film fraternity can talk and share with us. But it was encouragement from our Central Council member, Dhaniwa Sharmaji, or Changal Redigaru, my colleagues in the managing committee. And we all felt that it's a very good idea as the life in entertainment industry, much like of ours, is very tough, laced with cutthroat competition, new challenges thrown at every corner. While lakhs of people from all over the country aspire to make it big, it's only a handful of people who really make it big. And it's just like our CA results. We need to understand that it is not the luck which sees them through, but the courage to stand facing the challenges, failures, and with their hard work and determination to succeed, which brings them the glory. I was just reminding about uh, one famous quote, uh, which I saw in a movie yesterday, Jo log mehnat karte hain, kismat unka saath kabhi nahi chodti. Okay? And uh, second thing is, sir, if you are not from a family of film fraternity, it becomes tougher, just like stepping on to our profession and succeeding. As we go ahead into discussions with Tarun, sir, you'll see that there are a lot of similarities in his success story and his journey will be a great learning for all of us. I would stop here and request Daniwas Sharmaji to give his opening remarks, post which Banu Narayan Rao shall formally introduce the guest and then we start our discussions. But hold on. At this moment, I'd like to do an important duty. Any support from family member is always taken for granted and never acknowledged. I do not want to do the mistake and I profusely thank my daughter Preksha Trivedi who not only connected us with Tarun sir, requesting him to be a part of this session, but also prepared the teaser, the poster, and was a great support to me in conducting the program. Thank you very much, Preksha. And over to you, Dayabhai, for your opening remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I can understand the excitement you have, because I always see that excitement in my father's eyes, where, uh, you know, when uh, you do something good, your excitement, uh, you can see in the, the tinkling is there in your parents' eyes. I think uh, Tarun also can feel that when he sees at his parents, when uh, that success comes to him, it's not that success. It's basically the tinklings which are there in uh, parents' eyes, whether in form of a happy tears or might be a satisfaction which speaks. And today, if you would have missed thanking her, I would have actually not wished you at all. So I'm really thankful to you that, you know, you recognize and I think we have to really look into this aspiring people who are actually moving good and, uh, you know, they are moving in a different direction. So Chairman, uh, I am excited to have Tarun here. This is, I think, the first time where we are actually thinking about to get a, a film, uh, you know, writer, producer, director, actor to come and be part of this entire journey. And uh, Tarun, I would like to say one thing. You know, there's not much different between uh, difference between you and us. Right. I'll share that in a while. But let me first thank my chairman 
for ensuring that he is actually made it possible uh, and preksha you are always the dearest you are uh, the most lovable you have always been supporting parents but today you have come forward to support the parent body of your father also which is institute of child accounts of india to get one success story on the screen means a lot to get one success story on the screen means a lot and it is like you know you inspire to uh, you know how many people you don't know might be today you are seeing on the screen the room but yeah. there might be many people who are behind who are going to continuously watch this thank you so thanks to you and i'm going to say thank you i'm super impressed <laughs> <Dereksha. laughs> yes thank you dereksha so. now this is the, you didn't thank your father you thank me i am i think i will personally take him out and thank you in a different way that uh, he has. and <laughs> thanks for hosting that lunch that day and uh, you know I'm ensuring that uh, tarun is here today with us tarun i am the youngest council member of the institute uh, at present uh, from the southern india and the second year in just in the country okay. so this is one thing which i would like to share before uh, you going on my white hairs there is only to make money <laughs> so don't worry about it the way my pankaj bhai and our uh, past chairman has lost their hairs i ensure that i don't lose <laughs> and uh, i only just make it uh, salt and pepper to ensure that you know uh, you st- some people still follow you and some uh, respect you so from that point of view uh, tarun one thing which i would like to say is you know the success always comes but i think the success stays with only those people who actually realize that you know that success is not come because of your own efforts it's basically a team effort which actually takes you to the different uh, level yes. everyone whether it is parents whether it is family whether it is friends whether it is audience whether it is anyone for that matter everyone contribute to your success that means you are acceptable to all the people i always lived one particular way of life Uh, you know, yesterday, fortunately, my all friends were there in my office. Uh, we were chatting for a long time, so I realized. And uh, you know, when Pankaj Bai was giving an introduction, I thought I'll just uh, narrate, if possible, I can. Uh, when people were playing, I played with them. When people were enjoying, I enjoyed with them. When people were thinking, I started working. When people started working, I was ahead. When people were dreaming. i was way ahead and then the story begins like people started dreaming about me so i think you have set one such example in the film industry uh, particularly you know you have set an example i think there are many people who are going to really get inspired you know to aspire to be like you thank you so much which is something very very important having youngsters you know we all have to make india as what india is we are young india we are not a india which is old and fortunately this has been recorded across the world that india is the youngest country in the world though we are the oldest one right and i think we all are seeing what is happening at the young india level and the way digitization is happening way the people have accepted i think the biggest movie hit which is bahubali and your movie also which has actually transformed the way people think you know when whether a small town guy can he think big yes he can think big that is a message you have given very very straight forward and when i was talking about your industry and our industry is not different yes it is not different you are professionals we are professionals your entire system which is supporting is professional our system is also a system which is supporting is professional you have multiple retakes we have multiple balance sheets and uh, profit and loss which is getting every hour <laughs> changed you know <laughs> so <laughs> so our, our chartered accountants are every day working very hard to see whether <laughs> that when is this balance sheet or profit and loss account going to get closed when my client returns are going to first get closed but yes one fact again the extension is you might do a multiple retake retake and we might do a multiple uh, financial working but once the bullet is shot your fate our fate is actually decided our fate is dependent on uh, the client's uh, dependency which is there on us and your fate is dependent on lot of producers extended people who are there so if you see lot of correlations are there between uh, you know uh, the success comes it is not yours or mine it is basically the team which is actually working together so you cannot do anything alone and i think the best way to realize is every success has lot of people dreams attached efforts attached and continuous blessings which are attached so i think uh, you have done your best we are doing trying to do our best you ensure that you know you make people happy we also make people happy 
but only thing is when the people get this uh, unhappy or might be they are totally on a wrong zone they directly go to the doctor who is another professional as such they don't go to an engineer so uh, you know we all try to see and our profession particularly has always wanted a client to grow because his growth is the biggest satisfaction we have you always wanted a success movie because it leaves lot of messages around the entire community and society so it's basically we work hand in hand i think they are two different hand of the same body but the 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 way we want to ensure that we are uh, showcasing ourselves it matters a lot and uh, today to have you here is a real uh, good uh, sense of satisfaction i'll say the moment i read about you and uh, uh, on the google and uh, the way preksha explained me and pankaj bhai uh, briefed me because earlier i used to watch a lot of movies because i was no having no option of, apart from watching telugu movies you tell summer sima reddy i can tell all the dialogues also <laughs> so that's that's how my article days have gone so i have enjoyed uh, my movie days and i continue to enjoy it. every friday i am in a theater so uh, i am a movie lover but yes i think the the people are willing to listen to your success and i think they are willing to make dreams out of it and only thing is we need to tell everyone is see looking at dreams thinking about dreams is not the answer you know we have to work continuously consistently 10 failures doesn't mean that 11th is not a success 11th is also going to be a success and it's going to be a bigger success so friends uh, i wish you all a fantastic uh, you know experience of having a different pankaj uh, bhai compliments to you to have a different perspective all together today on the webinar uh, uh, compliments to the entire uh, hyderabad branch uh, of icii and also the regional council members including me as a central council member that we have a different thought process to get in on the screen so let us see uh, put our fingers cross and undoubtedly the story of tarun is going to encourage all of us and make things happen over to you pankaj bhai thank you very much thank you everyone thank you sir thank, thank you, you. thank you dev bhai thank you uh banu narayana who is uh, the chairman he has got a unique way of uh, introducing people tarun and okay. every time uh, he try, he struggles to get a hindi song because mostly people from north comes so this time the moment you are coming i told him banu come on pehle telugu gana ga sakta hai baj to banu will not come in between request oh, baju mein no camera ke piche photo wo bhi laga liye shayad dono side tar india ya i know so banaran uh, please introduce uh, tarun sir so that we can start the session thank you chairman chairman and my dear professional friends and students first and foremost the eve of this 74th independence day i bring warm greetings to all of you not only from me but from all my colleagues in icia hyderabad we are talking about independence and we have with us a person who is very independent in his thoughts and deeds his heart ruled the mind he thought hum singhasan par ja baithe jab jab kare irade a person who completed his schooling from the prestigious hyderabad public school and is btech from jntu in mechanical engineering he wanted to move away from the traditional career and pursue his dreams there is a very popular song from his hit movie which the words of which are like this mare kalale marche kalale mare kalale kadale eve wo darule chupe ne aashale aagi po manda wo gelupe aaganan tunde na aduge i think this in brief is his journey the journey his journey has been put into a few lines by the lyricist and it has become a very very popular song he did diploma from new york film academy and is presently a director in vinutna geeta media and also co-founder and director of sainma well 
As a newcomer, he was not welcomed with open arms. He faced hurdles, challenges, difficulties, but he faced them with determination and made a mark for himself. And he is today a celebrity. Dreaming of becoming a filmmaker, he first participated in the 48 hour film project in 2012 and along with his friends came up with the romantic short film titled Anuko Kunda, which went on to become one of the best short films of India in 2012 and was also screened at the Kana Film Festival 2013 in the best of 48 hour film project short film corner thematic programs. Well, 2016 is a real milestone in his career. In that year, he made his feature film directorial debut with the Telugu romantic comedy Pelichupulu and uh, the stars in that Vijay Devarkonda and Ritu Varma and Vijay, we all know, is a, one of the shining stars of Hollywood today. The movie which was made with a budget of rupees 1.5 crores received critical acclaim and also was a commercial success at the box office. He also went on to win the national award for this movie, Peli Chupulu. He later directed the 2018 comedy, E Nagarani Ki Ye Mahindi. And in 2019, he made his acting debut with the movie, Apart from the same, he can also be seen in movies as an actor like Palak Nama Das and in Mahanati. His next project is Last Stories with Netflix India and the same would be on your screens very soon. Friends, we have with us a person with many us. Writer, director, user, actor, speaker, and motivator. Yes, his name also ends with Earth. <laughs> yes, he is the celebrity today who is going to speak to us and he is none other than Tarun Bhaskar. His name has been spelt differently, but I hope I have pronounced it properly. <laughs> and uh, one more song, sir. Okay. Mirise, Mirise, Manase, Murise, Neela. So a lot of our youngsters are looking at you for uh, listening to your advice and your success story. And uh, friends, it has been my uh, privilege to introduce Tarun Baskar to all of you. Over to Tarun Baskar for guiding us in the next few hours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. Before you said just one thing, uh, friends, you are free to ask questions, but one, the good news is you are free to ask questions, but the bad news is that we can't open the mic for you. Uh, we need to listen to Tarun. Okay. So what I request is there is a second, you can all see Q and A. Just post the questions there and we'll definitely, whatever is possible, uh, we'll definitely request Tarun sir to speak. So Tarun sir, few words before we start uh, asking our questions or how would you like to have it? Uh, sir, yeah. uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm feeling very humbled. Right? I'm very honored to be here. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I take inspiration from a lot of people from your uh, field and your services. In fact, a lot of advice has come in from uh, uh, my CA friends about a lot of things that I don't understand, like uh, taxes and everything. So I would want to talk to you and share some very insightful information about my journey as well. So you can probably ask me a question and I can uh, probably start off like that. But thank you so much for having me, uh, sir. And uh, thank you. And we are not professional journalists, so you, you need to pardon <laughs> us for the way we ask. But uh, yeah, Tarun, I'll just start with this. The first inquisitiveness all of us had. HPS, engineering, right. any normal person like us would think about MS going to USA, earning in dollars. Right. Then how and why did Tollywood occur? 
So that's what sir. In fact, uh, I think uh, there was an entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial spirit that was uh, inculcated in my schooling itself. I had done my schooling from Hyderabad Public School, and the thing is, uh, we are exposed to a lot of different streams of uh, you know careers in school itself, and we are uh, we are interacting with people from different strata of society. So I kind of understood that it was just normal for me to take up arts. So arts was something very. Uh, intriguing for me i used to do painting i used to do a lot of craft uh, but i used to get a lot of uh, awards also in art itself when because the school had encouraged me but having said that there were a lot of relatives and a lot of uh, people around me who said how will you earn money from this uh, will you go paint on the roads or something they said so this really struck me as a very uh, interesting question and i started thinking about uh, how do i sell myself the whole point was to sell myself my uh, i have to really really make some value out of the art that i make so i started changing canvases in fact uh, after art and craft it became film making and then slowly there was a camera which was uh, gifted by my mother and i did something in hps and that led to short film making uh, the idea was uh, i had read a lot of books i had uh, met a lot of very inspiring people as well Uh, during my uh, study in hps so during that time i realized that uh, the first and foremost thing that we need to understand is uh, when you are going in your path uh, when you are actually heading towards a direction where you have to uh, really work for your career or whatever i think you have to just uh, stick to something that is very interesting i think uh, when you are passionate about something you get an energy uh to drive forward because this road is actually a lot of ups and downs and uh, it's not like i did not know uh, just like how you have a lot of traditional areas that uh, you would like to step into and not experiment i feel that uh, you should not worry about what other people say there are a lot of stereotypes and you know all these stereotypes are meant to be broken especially in times like this when there's a pandemic here i know that you know suddenly there's a huge demand in sanitizers and now there is a different uh, zone as to how people want to save taxes as well and i understand that you know the rules are also not so times keep changing uh the you know the circumstances are changing what doesn't change is your interest uh if you are interested in something uh, the passion that comes from within can drive you forward no matter what the circumstances so i felt that it was very natural for me to lean towards something that i'm very passionate about and uh, i went ahead and i uh, went in the path of film making so that was my thing i mean i didn't look at it uh, i didn't look back after i went in because it was a very strong driving force for me and uh, that is the only thing i mean a lot of people told me that tollywood is uh, extremely difficult and all that but uh, i took it up as a challenge and i didn't actually listen uh, because i remember one speech from rajnikanth uh, mr uh, rajnikanth sir is my favorite actor so he mentions uh, in one of the speeches that you know there were three frogs and they were trying to climb up the well uh, the first one uh, was trying to uh, the first one tried a lot and suddenly it went up to a certain extent all the other people outside were saying don't it's very dangerous don't do this so he got scared fell down the second one also went up and he got a lot of negative advice and he fell down again the third one just went straight up and went out of the well later they asked him how did you do it he said i'm deaf so <laughs> i think sometimes you just have to be deaf to a lot of uh, things that people say a lot of negative advice that you get about uh, uncharted waters or uncharted areas when you're entering i feel that you know what has to drive you is that spirit is the passion from within uh, that you just want to do something and the journey itself is success uh, not the end product is what i felt so that's that's the takeaway that i had great tarun because in fact uh, this is very much connected to our uh, profession also where after passing many of the youngsters directly think we only think about tax audit audit project fine we have only very few limited areas and there are very very few people who have ventured to say enough of this i will get into a total new area i'll go into it i will go into some different areas and all so i think this your answer should be a great inspiration for people not to get into the crowded bus and try to wait and take a different vehicle uh, and travel okay you you get troubles but yeah don't listen be that frog who is deaf 
but yeah. uh, keep trying because uh, just being deaf is not enough you have to keep trying also uh, <laughs> thank you very much Taran. Uh, there are questions i'll just ask one or two what sure. we have because uh, what what we heard about tollywood or for that matter any entertainment industry they play safe and they bet on big names big banners and rarely experiment due to involvement of huge money and stakes were you not worried about the success failures in the competition from very big and established names and what risk you thought about and do you have did you had any backup plans yeah if if something if it doesn't work so yeah definitely sir as in uh, it's always a huge risk uh, but one thing i very quickly understood at the start of my career was that what i'm doing is actually a business uh, and uh, it's a it's a mixture of business and art a lot of uh, first time filmmakers uh, they get mixed up in their passion they say that you know this is the story i want to tell it might work but uh, also what i understood very quickly this was also because i set up a private limited company uh, the, the 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 kind of understanding i received the advice that i received from a lot of uh, people who wanted me to in fact one of my friends father he's also a chartered accountant he actually told me uh, when initially i was doing uh, short films and wedding films uh, also i was doing internal corporate videos so when uh, when i was doing it all by myself i was doing it as a freelancer and i would go to every college i would bunk college and i would go to other companies and sit with them and talk to them i would talk to them about what they exactly want in terms of design and everything but nobody took me seriously because i was never a company so uh, so i re quickly realized that i think registering a private limited is the only way that people will take me seriously so i had actually understood the entire process of setting up a private limited company what it takes in a way it kind of structured me because uh, when a filmmaker uh, goes out to make a write a story or something we're very creative but filmmaking is all about organizing the chaos because it is partly engineering as well you so you have to uh, deal with it in a very structured manner and thankfully because of setting up vinod nagita media private limited uh, maintaining the accounts and also uh, you know filing taxes and everything this kind of gave me a very structured approach towards life itself in fact i kind of started understanding the business transactions that go on around films and i understood entertainment tax and i understood the kind of risk that a producer kind of partakes when he is actually investing in a director so these uh, this kind of opened my world and i kind of became more structured and i kind of understood uh, it in a very practical way i mean i understood everything in a very practical manner so very quickly what i did was i tried to understand uh, that i tried to study the different genres that give the maximum returns as in in terms of uh, uh, thrillers there is a very niche market rom coms have a very open market i understood that families give a lot of uh, money we took a lot of data we took a lot of uh, uh films outcomes and we compared it and then my friends thought that you know romcom is the one and we understood the budgets we reverse engineered a lot of budgets and then i understood and i came down to the figure that you know we have to shoot something under 1 crore because we do not have any marketable faces so it was like an investor pitch so every time i was going to a producer i did not want to impress him with an emotional story in fact i just wanted to tell them that you know your money is in safe hands and the moment you tell your investor that your money is in safe hands automatically it becomes like a very sealed deal for you so this kind of practical approach happened only because of setting up a company understanding the norms understanding how taxes work everything this definitely motivated me to uh, you know better pitches which can actually be profitable for me so in a way uh, pelichupulu was by design it was not a fluke it was by design so we uh, made sure that it was a rom com we made sure that uh, it was reverse engineered in uh, the budget was within 1 crore in fact uh, we do, we took production uh, 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 planning softwares which break down the screenplay and itemize everything so everything was accounted for so every every little uh, expense was accounted for every little uh, we we could we could foresee what kind of expense happens because on a film shoot apparently there are 700 variables 
uh, that can make your film production go haywire. So what happens here is even political scenarios and weather conditions affect the production of a feature film. So what we did, we had to be very precise in terms of planning, production planning. It was very efficient, efficiently done by the team. Uh, uh, we, we had to mark in locations. We had to calculate uh, petrol expenses for the transportation. We had to calculate call times and call sheets. No first time director or team would have done this, but we were very, very key with our planning. I mean, that background was very strong for us. So that led us to uh, a very great pitch with the producers. We told them, we actually promised all the investors that I will be doing this entire film in 32 days, under 32 days, and we will be shooting it in under 63 lakhs. Nobody understood it. Then I had to pro provide them with the entire uh, you know, production documents uh, and then told them the story. And then I told them that this, why will this story work? This story will not work because of its emotions or whatever. I just, I'm telling you that it will give you a return on your investment for sure, because this is a guaranteed satellite market for this genre. Even if there are no marketable faces, we can still make this much money in the theater. So when these numbers were put across, then we started receiving uh, positive uh, feedback. A lot of uh, offers also went uh, up and down. But I think, uh, you know, you'll have to take a risk. Uh, but one thing you have to understand is you have to make your producer trust you because he's investing that money. Uh, and that is a huge responsibility. I feel that, you know, the same goes for, uh, uh, I think that, you know, you, you, I knew that I started, I knew that I was successful when I started talking to my CA more than my friends. So, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, so I realized that, you know, my best friend has to be a CA. Uh, only then I know that I'm counting money. So right now, even now, uh, every third or fourth phone call is to my CA. I talk to him about uh, how I should manage my money. In fact, uh, I trust him because uh, my, I know that my money is in good hands because he's meticulous, he's calculated. So there is no scope for risk. I know that, you know, there is nothing in life that uh, we can plan to perfection, but at least we can be well prepared. And even in this field, as a filmmaker, we need to be well prepared and we need to make sure that our producer's money is in safe hands. And that was my primary goal. And I super, super, in fact, you are, this thing was conveyed. And if I take it in a positive way for our own profession, yes. see, when I come into practice, for example, and I see a lot of big names, big firms doing big business and all, here, what we are also more worried is, boss, will I get a client? Will that fellow allow me and all? We get into so many other negative things. So I think taking cue from you, I think uh, it's better we look into our strengths, our new areas, where we are good at, how different we can do. And then with the proper planning, we move ahead. So definitely, I think success. So one thing all of us should understand now is that uh, uh, Tarun is not a hit person because uh, of Pellichupulu being hit and Tarun is hit because how much of the planning that has gone into making Pellichupulu a big hit and uh, believe me Tarun I think today the students who are seeing here and on YouTube right. I'm sure they will start putting some extra hours of study and because you said CA is their best friend now all of them would like to become CA very soon <laughs> and all. Yeah, so. Also, uh, that's all, sir. I mean, uh, to just uh, follow up on your question, also, I would just like to tell a lot of students also that, uh, I, I, in fact, I think uh, whether it's an entrepreneur or a CA or a filmmaker, what we need to understand is we have to be passionate about solving a problem. We have to approach a problem in a very positive manner. And I think we have to understand the industry that we are working in uh, with a lot of, uh, you know, great detail. We'll have to kind of understand data. You have to study where a problem is and try to solve a problem very passionately. And in that, uh, if, you, if you actually focus on solving a problem, which is very widespread, even if it's a small client, I mean, I didn't care who my producer was. I just wanted to really solve the problem of making sure that their investment is tripled. And if I do that, I know that I will make a particular, uh, credibility is everything. Especially, in, I don't know about uh, any other business, but in filmmaking, it is very important. Credibility is very important. Credibility is power. Credibility is everything for you. So I think even if it is a small case, even if it's a small client or a small producer, I feel that, you know, 
if you work towards maintaining your credibility, make sure that you're solving problems in a positive way. And uh, I'm pretty sure that opportunities will knock your door and you will immediately start seeing a very good flow of uh, projects at your end. Great, great advice, Zaran. And uh, just while talking about the students, I, I'll just take one question for our students. Right. I think the biggest, and uh, I, I don't want to call it as the worst night, but the most terrified night uh, in a life of every actor, producer, director, as well as on our side, every student right. who has really worked hard. Now we are talking only about the people who are really worked hard, who are given everything. See, you are given everything for a movie. The producer has given, the technicians are given, everyone has now put everything and it's a new team that has worked. And the next day, the next sun's, uh, sunlight tells you how the people are accepting and it makes you or sometimes breaks you. And it, the life is same with many of our students. For months and months, 15 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, they have studied. They have written the exam. They have written it very well. And then comes that next day and one night before the result day. So I would like to ask you one thing which could draw similarities. I would like to know, know about the Tarun one night before the release of Pedli Chupulu, were you nervous on one <laughs> side, anticipating success, anticipating oh. even a best national award for this? So how were your feelings and how what you did to cut down that stress? I think that would one advice the students would love to know from you. So uh, the night before Pedli Chupulu actually released, uh, it was extremely chaotic because uh, everybody had rejected the film. Uh, nobody said that the film would, everybody said that the film won't work and, uh, and there was complete negativity around it and I, in fact, I started believing it uh, because what we do as human beings, and I also believe a lot of students are smart enough to do this, we prepare really well for failure, but we don't prepare well enough for success. So failure and success is a very two, uh, very two dangerous phases. I mean, everything in between is life, but failure and success, both are shaky grounds because uh, failure can actually uh, put you in uh, it can also teach you a lot of things. It's kind of positive, but when success comes and if it comes big, then you don't know where you're headed. It blinds you completely. It doesn't uh, show you the right path. And you know, all your ideals kind of go uh, all over the place. So it's very difficult to maintain uh, your ground in these two phases, failures and success. So I, that, I think uh, Pelichupulu's success caused me that. I mean, after Pelichupulu, uh, released and the kind of uh, thing it was getting, it was first denial for me that my film was actually a success. I didn't understand it. But the moment I understood it, I started having anxiety. I started having night uh, sleepless nights. And I wondered why, as in how can a success do this to me? Because it was all happening too fast. And uh, the thing is, I had so many failures that ground zero was my home. It was a very warm home for me. So every time you, I would fail, I'd feel like, okay, I know this place. But you know, suddenly when success came in, it just took me away by a storm. So I feel that uh, we just have to not look at, uh, this, I mean, th there are a lot of people who gave me a brilliant advices and you know, some big producers and some really, really good friends who actually told me, uh, even in Bhagavad Gita and uh, a lot of religious books, they tell that, you know, you cannot have expectations in life for failures or success. And I think that's a very profound statement and only through experience will we understand the depth of that. Uh, that, you know, the moment you start expecting failures or successes, then your life is very unstable. I don't think we should look at the end result. We have to just keep doing our work and make sure that, you know, whatever happens, happens. And that is something that I'm still learning. As in today, when we are doing a project and we put so much passion and effort into it, it is very human for us to actually have some emotional attachment towards its outcome. But uh, now I'm slowly trying to uh, very consciously cut away from the outcome because no matter what, uh, tomorrow a film is a flop, tomorrow is, uh, it's a great success. I still have to get up every morning and find purpose and keep doing my work. So finding your purpose is important because it wakes you up even during some time like this pandemic, we should all understand that today, uh, if I wasn't doing films, I wouldn't have understood what the purpose of my existence is. 
So I, I know that I am contributing and solving a problem, uh, which is I am providing content. And every day that kind of drives me. And it's not about, I mean, success also fades. I mean, Pelichupulu's success is great. I mean, I'm living in a better home now. And, you know, I have a lot of luxuries, but those also fade. What really stays with you is uh, the drive that pushes you through every day. A lot of people don't have it. That leads them towards depression and anxiety and a lot of mental illnesses. We should be fortunate that we found our path and we're very clear about it. And I feel that we shouldn't uh, worry too much about failures or success. It's an out. It's just a byproduct of your hard work, uh, but uh, it's not the end result at all. Great, Tarun. I, I wish I should have had this 30 years before. <laughs> I think yes, I think most of the students, yeah, now now it's very easy for me to tell, let us not worry about the result. Yeah, you are done. Look, whether you pass, you have a different challenges. If you fail, you have a life. Yes, you, you get, get it up again because life doesn't end with that one failure or success. We can do it, okay? Just just be determined, depend more on your uh, talent, your own uh, abilities, and then we can do it. I'll just uh, shift to questions from a uh, couple of people, Tarun, I think questions have started flowing in. I will take one question from Roshan Raju. Uh, Sir, I have good acting skills, but don't have the right platform to prove it. Right. I have done performance at a CA student's uh, event. Please give me a chance, sir, to prove myself. An opportunity from you is appreciated. Straight away, it is soliciting business. But I think, <laughs> how do you... Uh, yeah, like, what is the advice for this? Uh, uh, so generally, uh, what happens is when you're trying to pursue acting or whatever, I would uh, kind of take the path of how Vijay kind of took it or Vishwak. All my actors have been auditioned. There were no recommendations. Uh, there was nobody uh, from the industry who I kind of selected based on their market or whatever. At least uh, me and a few filmmakers, what we're doing is we're trying to open auditions, at least for certain projects, uh, which are, uh, you know, low budget. And, you know, we're trying to introduce newcomers. In those projects, at least we are making sure that, you know, we do uh, sincere auditions. And all you have to do is follow us on social media. Make sure that, you know, you cut out your good profile and you know you put out your acting videos uh, the most important thing is you'll have to really focus i mean acting is such a uh, phenomenal field that you know it's very hard to break in but once you do there's no stopping at all so you will have to find the breaking point yourself it will probably emotionally take a toll on you <laughs> you have to be geared up for that ride but uh, you'll have to do everything there is because no matter how many connections you have uh, no matter how much uh, and you have today, it's a very democratic uh, stage filmmaking. I mean, there's no, the, uh, people are very, very critical about nepotism. Very, uh, they're, they're pointing fingers at anything that is, they're not letting anything go by. And it's very, becoming very democratic. In such a stage, you'll have to really, really hone your skills and make sure that you stand out. And it's a very, very tough journey. The first thing that you have to do is make sure that, you know, you are acting. You have to put yourself on different platforms, all social media platforms, YouTube, or TikTok, if it's not banned, or any other Instagram or whatever, create your own profiles. You have to brand yourself. Just like how even probably CAs brand themselves and, you know, branding is very important. You'll have to really brand yourself, create a brand about yourself. You know, it, uh, you, uh, sell, you have to market yourself properly. And then you'll also have to interact with a lot of uh, people from the film industry and apply every audition. I feel that, you know, a lot of actors even now, they're very hesitant about giving auditions. It's, they feel that it's below them. And I quickly get turned off by such actors, majorly because they are not passionate towards uh, their skill set, as in uh, they're not passionate towards their career. So I feel that uh, you'll have to really, really let go of your egos and make sure that you know, you're know you putting in your 100% effort on whatever platform it is, uh, you'll have to push yourself. That's all I can say to actors. Thank you, Tiran. Tarun, one question, I'm relating it to our profession also. I'd like to also tell you the relation also. But I think i uh, like to hear from you. Cool. I want to know, Tarun the actor or Tarun the director? <laughs> producer, director. And, okay, the, I, I'll just bring it to my profession. Because your answer, and let the audience know why I particularly ask this question. Yeah. See, basically, when I say an actor, 
an actor is a director's child okay now he does whatever he wants to do but on the other side yeah he will get his money whether the film runs film doesn't run his ideas may be good but at the end he does what a director wants and that's exactly our people in employment right they are good they 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 get their salary every month they have a good status but ultimately they are doing what their boss would like them to do they have a new idea sometimes taken sometimes not taken snubbed because we also have a fear ki if my junior is giving a better idea then my job is at pain so I, an actor uh, is like a person in employment right. and for a producer or a director now he is a man there will be success or a failure is his but at the same time he has to uh, he can implement his ideas he can do things the way he likes but again if the result goes bad everything is gone so keeping in you so do you think a practice or an employment suits the young people who are coming here because that is one question which people have never understood they get into employment and after a few years they get worried why am i doing all these things right. and some people see the initial failures in practice and then think that pressure gone there so this dilemma always pertain so that's why and i preksha was telling me one question you ask uh, him because she is also interested in knowing tarun the actor or tarun the producer <laughs> director <laughs> so that's what sir I, as in uh, i don't like um, uh, in fact we have created these boxes uh, these labels to compartmentalize ourselves but i do not uh, like fitting myself in boxes because i feel it's a very limiting thing uh, no matter what uh, i try to make sure that i'm in environments where uh, there is completely a collaborative process towards anything i mean if not filmmaking even if it is your field also i feel that a lot of students and a lot of individuals should understand whether they are in an environment where collaboration is possible where their ideas are being taken and you know they are not being fit into boxes so whether it's an actor or a director i don't care as in as long as i'm contributing to cinema as a whole as long as i am being a part of uh, good film making that is my only thing and for this i would like to do anything that i am adding value to and i i genuinely get pleasure out of adding uh, value to a film in whatever manner it may be so so i do not want to limit myself to just being an actor or a director i would love to be i am an editor also i love i want to learn sound design i want to learn cinematography so i feel that students or anybody for that matter of fact needs to have that quality to understand the all the intricacies of your field to master everything to learn every aspect of your job or whatever it pertains the industry as a such how it works and i feel that you have to make sure you are staying in an environment or working in an environment that nurtures that nurtures collaboration nurtures uh, your growth in terms of knowledge in terms of uh, changing your roles constantly you cannot be just put into one box and say do this for your entire life and i think that is something uh, which is not uh, uh, you cannot measure that in terms of money and time you know you can only it's a qualitative measure that only you uh, personally can remark about yourself probably after a decade or so have i wasted my life is a big question that you do not want to ask yourself so just be free uh we even though we've gotten independence in 1947 i feel a lot of us are still not independent and i feel that it's something to do inside the mind it's nothing to do with the geography of this nation it has to be doing with its freedom is a state of the mind is what mr yes. jitu krishnamurthy also mentions so i feel that you know it's something that you inculcate uh, if you are a free person is only then when you can spread your wings and you can grow so make sure you are in environments which are positive which are not actually limiting your ideas and putting you in a box and that is what i am trying to do today as well i'm trying to be an actor director contribute to something make myself more valuable so so there's no age or no limit to learn and Absolutely. as a student try to put everything then the decision comes at a later stage okay uh, i'll take the question from the crowd again okay, uh, okay i'll just uh, i'm looking at the questions sir 
Okay, one question uh, which has come in, people are asking me. Uh, I am not sure what uh, he's talking about, but I am reading out the question for you, Tarun. Uh, sir, thank you for the opportunity and can you question him? How does he gone through all his negativity around him during his journey of short film at Goa? Believe me, Tarun, I am not aware of any neg negativity and uh, if a question has come, maybe that person has done a lot of research on you. Uh, uh, so, nothing much, sir. As in, I, I think the question is about negativity in general towards in, in your journey or whatever. As I said, uh, I just had to throw a death here. In fact, there were a lot of hardships. Uh, my father passed away one year before Pelichupulu was even released. Uh, and we were in a solid debt. Uh, in fact, uh, to be uh, exact, we were in a debt of uh, 13 lakhs that uh, my mom had to stake her gold bangles. It was extremely dramatic. In fact, uh, during schedule one of uh, Pelichupulu, I wasn't even aware that my mom uh, was uh, running around courts. Uh, trying to, you know, get rid of certain financial loans that we had. So it was almost rock bottom and I had to really uh, re, uh, re look at, uh, had to take a complete different strategy on how I'm going to deal with this. But I think uh, it just kind of necessity is the mother of all events in this. And, you know, uh, I, I had to make sure that the boat uh, stays afloat. And you know, there was no other option. The only light I saw at the end of the tunnel was making a film. And that was my one last shot. So when you just focus on the end result and you just go ahead for it, I think uh, everything else just becomes noise. There were a lot of things, uh, even during Pelichuplo, there was not a lot of cooperation from a lot of people who were a part of the film as well. And I had to negotiate, I had to uh, really, really beg borrow, steal, and do whatever, but make the film. Uh, so ultimately, I think uh, you just have to focus on what exactly you're doing, because the more you focus, everything else will become uh, just noise. So all the negativity was just noise. It, uh, in fact, it actually fueled me further. And you have to kind of take it positively, because one thing I will tell a lot of students, uh, and I mean, a lot of people in general is, uh, not everybody is bad. Nobody is bad. Nobody means any harm to you. Uh, the thing is, every time they're pointing a finger at you, they're trying to feel better uh, because they deep down are insecure. As in, if they say something to you and if they actually tell you that you are nobody, they are telling that to themselves yeah. to make themselves right. feel better. So you have to understand that they, are, they have a damaged sense of psyche themselves. So every time a person thinks low of you, or he's useless or something. There's some kind of self uh, esteem issues that that man has that he cannot accept somebody else. So you have to understand the depth of that and then go ahead because people are broken. People don't know how to love, how to accept love and they're broken in many ways. And it's because of traumatic childhoods and a lot of things. So when they say something, it's a reflection of themselves. And in a deeper psychological sense, you have to understand that and be practical and move on because they don't mean anything to you. They're just uh, trying to make themselves feel more comfortable. So let them do that because all you have to focus is on the goal. Everything else is noise. Wow. Tarun, it's looking like I'm listening to some big Baba. And, <laughs> uh, so in fact, uh, believe me, how easily you could answer this complex question, which definitely should be followed, frankly. Uh, I, I really thank you for this answer. Okay. Uh, and just on a lighter side, uh, I have a question from Ram Dronam Raju, uh, who says, Sir, we see doctors, engineers, and all the professional characters in a movie, but not a chartered accountant. <laughs> and uh, uh, any reason, and he wanted yeah, to see you as a chartered accountant in the next movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is a, such a coincidence because today in the morning I was discussing with a friend uh, that we were talking thematically about money and power. And we decided that, you know, we want to write a story about money and power, uh, the corruption of money and power and uh, the, cho the path that you choose uh, is, you know, to, in today's day, I understand very clearly. I mean, even if, if I can't be vocal about it here, I know that a lot of people understand what I'm trying to say that, you know, in, in your path, you will encounter a time where you have to choose 
a path which was not advised to you by your parents ethics or what the bhagavad gita says but you know you have to make certain choices because the system only accommodates uh, that and you'll have to be gray in nature what do you tell yourself what do you tell yourself when you are doing uh, something that you did not want to do but you had to because you had to be in this profession you know that can happen only very seriously in a chartered accountant's life i think in one particular stage you know the that, first uh, yeah, yeah you have to stand and uh, say that you know this is not what my parents taught me but uh, i have to do it if i have to grow up so this is a very complex dilemma and you know i think uh, there is a sense of uh, understanding of human psyche uh, everybody has their own uh, way of dealing with it i feel that uh, chartered accountants have a very complex uh, understanding of how the system works uh, because you see the the way the system is existing its entire loopholes it is naked to you and you understand how to connect the dots uh, to ca- and you also see growth of one person to being another person you see the influx of money you see the influx of power how does it corrupt you how does it not corrupt you what is that you say to yourself every day and this is uh, a very complex uh, topic to talk about and in fact me and my friend were saying that you know we have to make a movie which is thematically about money and power and the corruption of human mind and the protagonist has to be a chartered accountant so <laughs> it's very funny that today we are talking about it yeah but definitely yeah. i will be coming back to a lot of you uh, oh. about uh, researching I I promise you our entire fraternity will watch the movie within the first week I don't want to <laughs> at this stage I don't want to say first day first show but still will definitely watch it in the first week itself no, because uh, very very I want to tell you guys this thing uh, I understand that you know as a filmmaker uh, I study I have to study characters yeah but nobody knows the truth as much as a chartered accountant about human nature because the moment you see a credit card statement the moment you see an expense sheet you understand the true nature of that individual or that company you are dealing with so uh, i think uh, it's an x ray and you know you guys have that power and it's a, such a beautiful thing you can, you have to put it in cinema and i think i will take it there you 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 would have been a great chatter content sir no doubt about uh, it okay <laughs> yes uh, pankaj bhai one second yes. Yes. yeah Yes I'm, yes there uh, off the screen but i'm listening to tarun completely yes sir is yes, there tarun today i'll just take this opportunity to tell all my counsel or uh, just uh, colleagues of mine in the profession right sir. you know there has been one or two black sheep which everywhere it is there right sir. but the chartered accountant attitude always is that the client has to grow so the in a constructive manner not in right. destructive manner right. no person will guide anything wrong it's right. only the circumstances which are there for right. few cannot be generalized with all true. so you know i request you to kindly showcase that part of the real true story of three lakh chartered accountant may say <laughs> five seven doesn't make difference the true. balance uh, three lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety seven are good true true so it will be of a great support yeah. thank you so the thing is sir uh, every time we talk about a film uh generally uh, even now when we have discussions we always say that you know uh why do films uh, show the bad side of certain things and uh, not talk about the good side because cinema is conflict the moment you want to listen to a story there is no story without a conflict and conflict is uh, very interpersonal it happens because uh, uh because of a certain values change that a character has to undergo i feel that that's existing in every industry but it is a choice that makes us a hero and ultimately uh, unless and until you showcase the conflict that is existing although we want to avoid it it's existing and it comes into our path uh, the choice that we make makes us greater than ourselves so that is what a film is all about and that's what i was trying to say but uh, i have huge respect uh, for a lot of uh, chartered accountants in my uh friend circle as well and their uh perspective on uh, the system and the way that it operates and how they have stuck to their values so i feel that i will only advocate that 
Thank you very much. So sweet of you, and uh, I'll be the first person to buy the ticket. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> yes, there were, and you have to do for me also. Okay. And, Positively. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. I want, I want yes. you to give me. I want you to grant me leave. I have to go and attend the auditions being conducted by Tarun for the Atravanis role in the new film. <laughs> yeah. Good. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. <laughs> no, sorry, you denied you have to be here because I will go first. Okay, I'll just take one. <laughs> we have Vivek Narasimham, he's a charter accountant, but anytime we talk about film fraternity, because he's the one who is connected with a lot of audits and all. And when Tarun is there, Vivek can't be left out. So Vivek has come and come up with a question. He says, success is a great word and good to achieve it in any field. Success is nice. But in a film industry, success takes to a great heights and brings celebrity status too. How to stand on it as the expectations keep going up every time? High, high, higher. And how to face it? So uh, for this question, I think I have to be slightly more philosophical because my understanding is uh, uh, success is uh, very relative. Success is very relative. It is like love or hate. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, measure it. As in, is there a Wikipedia term for success? It cannot be there. It has to be very relative. So, uh, what is success? Your definition of success changes with every event in your life. When my father passed away, I realized that my idea of success completely changed. As in, before, when my father was alive, it was about having a house. Uh, it was constantly about having an own house. But uh, after a conversation with my father, I realized that, you know, house is about the people that you are living with. And that is so complex. So your idea of success is constantly changing. It is a very relative term. So this understanding is very, very important in any industry. Uh, that if you, you are trying to kind of uh, materialistically analyze success, then it constantly evolves, especially the success that is uh, being defined by the media. Today, uh, the media is not regulated. It's become democratic, which means there are lots of opinions being thrown around. Twitter has a different opinion. Instagram has a different opinion. Newspapers have a different opinion. I mean, newspaper, uh, news channels have a different opinion. So when they want you to do something, uh, whose voice are you going to listen to? Your own voice or you, the people around you? What is the life that you want to cultivate? And that definition of success is something that you have to write and stick by it. Uh, just like how a horse has blinders, you have to stick blinders because you cannot let the definition of success be defined by other entities than the things that you want to be controlled by. I feel that, you know, I want to give the control of my life to my uh, mother and my wife and my friends. And I think they define success for me. I said, how do they want to see me? Do they want to see me? growing on to make bigger films, bigger films, bigger films, or do they want to see me settle down in a small little farmhouse or a small house and a nice little car and we're just running around. So what is that? When people start dictating it to you, the pressure starts building up here and that is very uh, dangerous, I assume. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tarun. Uh, okay, I'll uh, just I'll come back to my few. I'm just coming here also. Okay. Netflix, I think you're the first person from Tollywood to be signed by Netflix, if I'm yeah, not wrong. A few people, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but uh, I think you'll, you're coming up in a big way. It's a new area, this OTT platform and all. And uh, how do you plan for getting into a new area? Like what studies, what research we have to do if we have to get into totally new areas? Like, um, For me, it's a completely different thing as in... Uh, uh, the space that we are in, in the feature film is constantly, now it's evolving like crazy. Uh, theaters have gone uh, down completely. To our content is very differently structured from an OTT content. As in to our content, uh, you have a hero, a heroine, and uh, you have big life stakes, whatever. But OTT content as you and me are watching today, it's completely changing. There is no one hero. There's no singular hero series are going on. There's something called cliffhangers. So structures keep changing, but ultimately we have to also keep evolving. So constantly uh, when Netflix offer also came in, I had to understand who we are catering to because when it is Netflix, uh, language is not being a barrier because OTTs are planning to take off that barrier completely and you're catering to pan-Indian audience, you're catering to global audience. 
So which means our standards also have to elevate uh, to the kind of uh, content that the world audience is watching. So we cannot be regional anymore. We cannot just cater to the theatrical audience that has loved our content. We have to really start thinking differently. So we have to understand what we are catering to, who we are catering to, and how is the structure constantly changing. And I think it is an ongoing thing. And I feel that, you know, unless we stay abreast, uh, I don't think uh, we will be re relevant anymore. Because I see a lot of game. But today in our industries, in our regional industries, we see that a lot of people start deteriorating with age, at least in our, uh, my industry. I, uh, they become less, less relevant. Uh, so I understand that, you know, we have to be constantly uh, keep abreast with a lot of news, a lot of ways the dynamics of an industry are changing. And you also have to be uh, like, like Bruce Lee said, be like water, my friend. You have to flow into whatever you can. I feel that, you know, we have to be like water. And this, and this is very, 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 very uh, testing times, in, especially in COVID times. Uh, the theaters might not be existent after a while. So we have to really, really be adaptive. I, I know. Uh, yeah. I have one extended question for that. Yeah. Please. Uh, Tarun, uh, uh, point is like, you know, we have been advocating one point. Yeah. Where you know the seniors experience cannot uh, go uh, you know in a way point number one point number two is the new technology adoption i think it is time where we need to collaborate the youth and the experience right. to balance that uh, vehicle which is uh, you know uh, going to match the speed as well as the experience right right what is your opinion on that no, absolutely, sir. As in, uh, I feel that uh, there are a lot of people, uh, one thing I very, very clearly make a distinction about uh, with the people I meet in the industry is, do they know their craft? Do they know the know-hows of the industry? First thing, a lot of people, especially in the film industry, get away by not knowing a lot of know-hows in the industry, but uh, just because of branding. But the people who survive the test of time are people who understand who have experience, tons of experience, and a childlike mentality of adapting to newer technologies. Those people are the big shots of the industry who are controlling the industry today. Uh, if, even if you look at people like Walt Disney, even if you look at uh, corporations like uh, MGM and Fox, they're constantly uh, absorbing data around them. They're understanding the industry and you know they're trying to stay abreast. So they are younger, than the youngest filmmaker in town, at least in terms of mentality. So if they, they can be 60, they can be 70. I don't, I don't know how, what their ages are. But still, you see that the Disney CEO is younger because he understands the next trend. They can predict the next trend. They can predict the next uh, wave. And that is so amazing to see. And only those people will stay. Because at least uh, what I've understood is, uh, even if the times are changing, your mentality has to be like a small child. Don't kill that child in you. Like the moment that child is there, nurture him with the ex experience that you have. That is a deadly combination. And I've seen that in most successful people that, you know, they learn from their experiences, but they never dull the child in them. A lot of people are there who have missed out on brilliant opportunities saying that, you know, no, 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 this trend will never happen. This thing will never happen. This is this. So they have kind of cut off that there's a possibility of evolving. And these people have been left behind in the race. So constantly know that, you know, uh, at least from my experience, I can say that people who have nurtured that childlike mentality in them and they have added experience to it, those people have been very powerful. So, in fact, uh, I, I was just when you're talking, I was thinking and when I was going through the question, uh, a question was asked. How can you be so simple, calm, and organized? <laughs> even, even if he's a star and the person coming from big families like we knew, and uh, even though his grandfather, father, uncles are so great, great people, so how can you be so calm, composed? At least I think, uh, this is one question which I was thinking, and the question came also. Uh, yeah. No, sir, as in uh, one thing is, uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, lose their ground the moment some fame comes in, some money comes in, it's all going to be, uh, it's all going to be very temporary. Uh, the most important thing uh, is, uh, I'll tell you this small little story. A uh, lot of you would have known about Singitam Srinivas Rao Garu. He's yes. a very eminent director. Uh, he's uh, made some legendary films like Pushpa Vimanam. 
and all that she marketed that film as a film in all languages in fact it was a silent film so he pushpak so pushpak is uh, pushpak Pushpa. Pushpa. yeah. so kamalasan uh, being mute and in a hotel and all that so that man uh, he i went and asked him he was a very simple man he was like the zen of filmmaker and you know he was so simple he was just wearing a small t-shirt he was wearing his shorts and he was just chilling in one place i went and i met him i absolutely love that man he reminds me of my grandfather he's bestowed with a lot of knowledge i went and i asked him sir as a filmmaker i know that my finance will be up and down so uh, how do i invest should i buy a flat so i said tarun no don't buy a flat because when you buy a flat what will happen that fellow will have plumbing issues he will call you <laughs> there is a nail that he has to hit on the wall he'll call you so why do you need that tension so then i said okay sir then how else do i get some uh, consistent money should i invest in fixed deposit uh, mutual funds so i said no 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 tarun mutual funds are very risky then what about fixed deposit he said uh, not axis bank or anything sbi is better but sir i said the interest rate is very low he looks at me and he says peace of mind is very expensive tarun <laughs> so that came across as a slap to me because the uh, it's about uh, these things are very important peace of mind is yes. very important that yes. you know uh, <laughs> so i realized that uh, this fame this money is very temporary uh, maybe we are talking today and today i have the honor of greeting all of you but years later i could uh, do a consecutive amount of flops but still i have to make a living out of myself and vijay setupati a brilliant actor in tamil nadu also he mentioned once that you know i don't mind selling tea also and i don't have any uh, you know it's about dignity of labor i want to um, act i'm acting but tomorrow if something happens i'll go and sell tea so i think those values are uh, are there in me because of meeting these beautiful <laughs> people and i hope it will always stay there so <laughs> i could never and i think he, that was the role you played in mahanati Yes, yes. Unfo- I mean, it's a, a very big coincidence, actually. I yeah, think. yeah. <laughs> you could get that. It was a beautiful moment, actually. I understand. And uh, one question from Vishnu Charan, I'll take up. Yeah. In the current scenario, OTT platform is ruling. So, if we make a film in current scenario within a budget of one point five to two crores, how can we attract the OTT platforms and which genre? generally you think is more profitable if we want to sell our films to otts such as amazon prime or netflix and all so i was also discussing uh, with preksha uh, about this the way we approach cinema has to be content driven as in we have to look at content and in fact i was talking to my ca also as to how to structure this entire thing there is something called royalty act in uh, hollywood which entitles you uh, the intellect i mean you own a part of the intellectual property of the content i mean it's an ip right you you own it so when you are selling it uh, when you are making an ott content or when you are making theatrical content do not do the mistake of actually just giving or selling out your entire soul to the devil it's this i mean what i understand from your question is uh, do we do ott content how do we sell it or do we do theatrical content do not get into the nuances of this if you are a filmmaker all you have to do is understand that your content is ip the first thing that you have to understand is you are going to lease out your ip to different distribution platforms and that is very important the moment you make a theatrical film it is an ip that you are going to lease out to theatrical distribution uh, it is an ip that you are going to uh, lease out to tv satellite and also uh, ott platforms Uh, ideally do not have do the mistake of completely selling your ip for perpetuality because these are the things uh, these are the things that will give you return tomorrow when there is merchandising or tomorrow there might be another market that might be opening there are different streams of revenue opening for any content so make sure that that content's ip is something that you own because you can pass that on as royalty uh, that royalty you can pass on to your kids your grandchildren you don't have to invest in land just like how singhita and srinivas rao said believe in your uh, work and ha- own the ip of your content and have some good cs around since you have already <laughs> yeah. you know protect yourself because it's a mean mean world out there in fact i i think uh, uh, my biggest strength is my ca uh, because otherwise i would have been destroyed in so many deals i was so emotional about certain deals that i needed a third person to give me an advice and um, my ca i'm not mentioning his name but uh, 
uh, he's such a wonderful friend he gives me this advice so always approach uh, business in a very different way and i think you are all cas so you have to detach it uh, from that uh, emotional thing also that otts or theatrical theatrical if i do theatrical business i will grow more or ott business is low think of it as just selling an ip for a limited amount of time do not sell your ip for perpetuity at any time and on behalf of all of us kindly thank your ca varun he has uh, definitely made <laughs> our profession proud uh, say thank you from chairman and council member and all the members who are uh, I actually, here and uh, I actually cut this clip and give him in fact he does uh -huh, please please i will I send him, him. I, i told him actually i told him a small surprise for you so uh, see the thing is uh, my ca and me we are very good friends uh, the thing is he also lost his father at the same time around when i lost my father and when i came when i went into my ca's office it was a very 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 small office it was piled up in files and papers obviously uh, a lot of books and everything but this man was saving it up uh, and uh, and we were on the same journey and he's uh, my age itself my ca is my age so when i started off uh, after pelichupulu when i met my ca and uh, we were ch uh, chilling around in his office we realized that our journeys are very similar and uh, we were just uh, starting to grow bigger and today uh, in a very very posh locality he has a very big office space uh, you know uh, because how he grew uh, was also beautiful because he never approached me as a client he approached me as a person and even till this day uh, he solves my problems uh, about money and that's all i know i mean uh, he, there are a lot of things that he talks about service tax uh, issues and you know gst payments even i'm so bad with my gst payment payouts i uh, sometimes make such bad deals that you know it's okay you can uh, no need of the gst just uh, put give me this much that's enough you know my ca immediately calls me and says tarun you're being emotional so <laughs> he is uh, he's a well wisher he looks out for me and so much so that my mother says did you talk to the ca so that is a normal conversation in our house and today i'm so proud that uh, my ca is the man who actually told me whether to take a lease in fact uh, i'm still staying in a rented house and i still did not buy uh, a property yet and this is only because of my ca's uh, advice and today i have to thank my ca because uh, based on my expenditure he understood my behavior my 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 spending pattern he understood he told me how i'm going wrong in what areas i'm going wrong he advised me and this is like a fitness trainer my ca is exactly my financial fitness trainer you know today if i'm financially fit it's because of my ca and you know in, in covid time i'm surviving in fact uh, a lot of people are not shooting but i'm having a luxurious life it's only because my ca personally understood my expense behavior he told me what patterns are wrong what patterns are negative and he advised me not to buy property at the wrong time and today i'm floating well because of my ca so oh, thank you thanks a lot and that's what happens most of us see couple of wrong things come out but for many many families we became their become their family member yes yes and in fact it becomes so much that even many of us are consulted in the for the marriages also whether the boy is good or the girl is good do you think and generally our profession i can tell you 99 personal people like that which i think coming out from a person like you is a great great achievement for us i think uh, in fact uh, in fact i, I would also like to tell you that uh, uh, every other weekend or something me my wife and my ca and my ca's wife we all go for dinners and in fact uh, me and my ca we are planning a nice trip around the world also hopefully so yeah. we, are, we are we are actually having our goals our financial goal set so uh, we, because of my ca i also recently purchased a land and that was a financial goal my ca set for me so good good thank you uh, thank you very much shivan i think we are talking for long term i hope you are now because the questions keep flowing at some point of time you i'll just take two more questions uh, okay uh, and uh, one question which has come uh, in fact uh, is that uh, from shivanand reddy tarun you have done two films and both movies are with debutants it's like starting a startup what kinds of pressure and how did you dealt with that and there must be some benefits of doing with debutants how do you capitalize on that 
And I think you are a person who almost promotes new. I, I was searching for an old man in E. Nagarani KMI. <laughs> Uh, but I, I never found a person. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, I always believe that, you know, these are fresh subjects. And for the purpose of that, I had to choose. Because every time you choose somebody who's already in the industry, who's a big name, the moment you cast somebody like Amitabh Bachanji or somebody like that, automatically they, uh, they come with a baggage. As in, you cannot, it's very difficult for you to create a fresh world. I know that they're amazing actors. But, you know, to take them into a fresh world, it's a big risk, at least for me. So since I'm growing and, you know, I don't feel that uh, I am still reached the pinnacle yet. I made a lot of mistakes and I'm still learning from my mistakes. And I don't want to take the risk of using a huge brand. You know, uh, Junior NTR Garu, uh, Mahesh Babu Garu, Pawan Kalyan Garu, all these people are big names and they have a lot of baggage. They have a lot of uh, persona around their name. So to put them into a very small world and to give them a very realistic character suddenly, might be a huge risk for me. And in fact, I'm actually not taking a risk by doing that. So that is why I'm put, uh, I, I encourage a lot of debutants. And I also feel that, you know, uh, a lot of directors in the industry, we are seeking a lot of variety. We need a lot more newer generation to come. So we can also really up the standards of filmmaking. So I feel that, you know, I take great pride in introducing these people because the moment I see Vijay Devarakonda, Vishwak Sen and all my actors grow, the satisfaction that I get is amazing. Just like how you guys might see your clients' growth, you know, that satisfaction is something else. If you have really empowered something, uh, trust me, guys, the most important thing I feel is uh, the satisfaction you get from empowering somebody else. If you're empowering somebody else's life uh, through the work that you do, there's no greater satisfaction than that. And I feel that, you know, I take a lot of pride and I'm very selfish about that. So, so Tarun, one question to you. Sir. Uh, Pankaj sir and uh, Banu are really old. <laughs> I, I, am, I and Deepak are young, but only Deepak has one problem is less hair. I have good hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Daya, yeah, this session is being recorded uh, and uh, I think uh, if it goes to uh, Central Council, then you can think about it. So forget about <laughs> it. You you just say that, yeah, I told to encourage. Uh, I think uh, we have been uh, live to see the questions. How can you going. be so jealous, Pankaj? Why I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> I told no, because if I can't get a chance, I should not uh, have to get a chance. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take up one question, uh, yeah. because I think, in fact, there are 40, 41 more. Okay, the moment you're answering one and then another four or five are coming. So I'll just take one question again. How do you maintain stability in different roles you, you interchange in between? Like uh, changing from director for big screen to anchoring a talk show. Yeah, so <laughs> I think uh, it's actually ta it's taking a good toll on me because uh, it kind of every risk that you take, and, you know, every uh, place that you go to, I mean, first time when I was anchoring, I was shivering. In fact, my, I was so nervous. The problem is a lot of us, uh, I, at least for me, for me, the biggest fear is I am a very introverted person as a child. And I could not ever go on stage and talk in front of people. In fact, I was very shy. I used to hide behind my mother's sari when I was a small child. I wouldn't talk to relatives also. So from then, my father realized that, you know, he has to push me. He has to push me in front of the crowd and uh, even swimming or whatever. He pushed me into areas where I had to face my fear. I didn't understand why. In fact, I thought my dad was a very negative person. He's always pushing me into areas that I dislike and all that. But now I've realized that, you know, the more you face your fear, the more stable you become. Uh, because I think the biggest people, even right now on TikTok and Instagram, you see a lot of transgender people. You see a lot of uh, uh, people with a lot of de deformations. They're going out there. They're putting them themselves out there. Kudos to them because, you know, they know they're going to get laughed. They know they're going to get humiliated. But, you know, the most important thing is putting yourself out there because what happens is your tolerance level increases. The more tolerant you become to all this, the more powerful you become, the more stable you become. So that is my main thing that, you know, I take power from all this. Anything that I'm scared of, I try to get an opportunity in trying and doing that. Because quite honestly, after you've done it, 
you feel like uh, you have really conquered your fear. So that is very important. And I want to keep doing that because uh, they also say that even uh, in that uh, your life has to go up and down. Otherwise, it feels like it just is not beating. Yeah. <laughs> so you, I feel like I have to do anchoring. And I, I felt alive. When I was standing there, when I was scared, when I was uh, trying to do something, I felt alive. I had to face my fear. At the end of the day, I was so proud of myself for doing it. Whether, a lot of people thought it was crap. A lot of people thought it was great. But it's not about them. Uh, for me, it was personal success. And today, I'm so proud of only these things that I'm experimenting. I'm able to get an opportunity to try and risk it out. Because after a few years, I know that I will be very, very satisfied with myself. I will be a happy man. So that's more important. Yes, yes. Sir. In fact, in today, I generally, for 30 years, I'm speaking. But today, I'm so nervous. I kept calling Preksha and said, should I do or should I call someone to do? Uh, do you think I can ask him? He says, no, Papa, she's very good. He's great. You talk, but somehow, <laughs> anyhow, I was able to make it. I'm happy. I was just thinking, seeing one question, last question, in fact, though I wanted that to be last. This question you might love to answer from Kaushik. Hello, Tarun, sir. I call you, sir, because I aspire to be you. Your friends play a major role in your career life. Can you please tell us the role of your friends in your career? Last uh, question. <laughs> I'll not take it. Yeah, 100%. So the, my friends have been uh, like family. I think uh, friends are the family that you choose. Everything else is not a choice. Your parents are not a choice. Uh, nothing else is a choice. But friends are something you choose. But sometimes I wonder, are they really a choice? Because I think it just happens to you. It's destiny. And, you know, I had a bunch of friends uh, who keep me very grounded. And that is very important. I know that we have to network. Uh, today, to grow bigger, I need to network with few actors. I need to network with a lot of producers. Uh, I need to really engage in social events. But I also know deep down inside that I'm putting out a facade. It is the people who you can share comfortable silences with. Those are your true friends. The moment you need to engage in conversations constantly, when we are awkward with silences, those people are not your true friends. Try to do this exercise. Try to sit with your close friend and not talk to him or her for a long time. If you're comfortable enough, then that person is a true friend. Because that is what I feel. And I feel that I have four or five friends who I can be comfortably silent around. And, you know, that is very important uh, for me at the end of the day, no matter what, these people are very grounded. They said one thing, even before I started cinema, I said, what if I fail? They said, we'll all start a Chai Bandi together. And that is my uh, biggest strength and that is my biggest asset. Because I know whatever happens, even if I fail, I will have four or five friends and I will just go to some other town and start some Dosa Bandi or Chai Bandi. Yeah, yeah. It, will, it, will, it will never <laughs> happen, Tarun. Don't worry. The way you have... It's the way you're so clear about everything. Frankly, thank you. And as they say, friends decide your own character. Okay, True. The type of friends you have define you. Thank you very much. And just your advice to the young students who are listening to you. Lastly, young members. And so young all I can say, guys, is uh, at least from, I mean, even I'm learning as we go, as in we will have to, I'm so glad that you have this panel of uh, wonderful gentlemen who you can who are giving you there, who are so passionate about encouraging you and making you learn about so many things. Uh, you will have to find these right, uh, uh, what do you call them, gurus. Because it was very important for me to identify that. And you guys have it and I'm blessed that, I mean, you should feel blessed that you have this right now. But all I can draw from my experiences and uh, tell you is uh, make success very personal. I think uh, do not let anybody else define it for you. Work in environments which uh, encourage collaborative, uh, you know, they, they should encourage you, your inputs as well. Do not restrict yourself, put yourself in a box. And for CAs especially, I would like to tell you uh, the example of my CA. Uh, try to be human because I know that uh, you guys deal with a lot of systems. I know that there are very big books that I cannot comprehend behind you every time I look at you guys. Behind you is a wall full of books, which I don't understand. And I think it's very complex. But at the core of it, it's great to hear a human advice from you guys. 
So I feel that, you know, just like how doctors or, uh, you know, how uh, uh, teachers are, I feel that even CAs have to uh, bring out that humanity out of them. Because when I went to a CA, he pat my back and he told me uh, where exactly I was going wrong and where exactly my father went wrong in his financial, uh, this thing as well. He told my entire history and then he sat me down and he told me how to survive in the real world. And there are certain things uh, that I took away from my father. There are certain things uh, that I took from my gurus. And trust me, some of the most important things came from a similar aged CA. And he gave me a lot of life lessons. And I think uh, they, they are very important. And I feel that every client you deal with, uh, please treat him as a human being and try to solve a genuine problem and take pride in empowering that person because that feeling is pure fulfillment. I think uh, after your successful lives are over, uh, careers are over, you can proudly tell your children and grandchildren that I empowered so many lives. And that is more important. Uh, and I think that will give you genuine satisfaction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I hope, how can one and a half hour or more than that go away so soon? And uh, I'll just wish you a very happy Independence Day. And I'd request my uh, Central Council member, the Anuya Sharma, to give his closing remarks, post which Deepak can convey his vote of thanks. Thank there you. to you. And uh, all the gentlemen whose questions I couldn't uh, take, I'm sorry. Uh, already we have taken away one and a half hour of Tarun, and you know how important this one and a half hours are there for every person. So, TK, inshallah. We will have him in person once the COVID ends. And Tarun, please don't say no at that point of time. 100% oh, I'll be there. Big I'll come back to you for research. So. Please, please, please. Thank you very much. There way for you. Uh, actually, Tarun put me through all my life. Uh, uh, Tarun, a lot of stories which are there, which I can share anytime. I have shared with my young chartered accounts every time. You know, being coming from a chartered accountant family, I was being made to start from zero. Uh, you know, I was being told by my father, who is actually a chartered accountant and a council member, to start my practice from zero. He said, Roti kapada makar, I'll give you, but not practice. So till date, he's not given me his practice. That is a different thing. But starting <laughs> from one person to today, 130 people has been a great journey. And today, what you made me realize is, you know what, my dearest friend, who was my partner in the firm, we both are born in the same month. He is 24 days elder to me. Right. And all throughout, he just told me one thing. There, why? To likal ja aage. Koi nahi. We are there. What will happen? Yeah, nothing will happen. Sala ha. Matlab jayega to matlab kuch nahi jayega. Matlab we have roti kapda makan ka assurance hai to koi problem nahi. So that that thing plus the second part. Adopting to the newer, uh, you know, ways of doing things will make a whole lot of difference. Which is, you very, very loudly and clearly told, and uh, the most relevant people became irrelevant in the market. Okay. Has been a reality uh, since the time I have become uh, the council member of the institute. I have been talking about technology adoption, which is going to be one of the most crucial thing, and right. how we need to take things forward. That is another part. Fourth part is undoubtedly, if you are actually having a success, it's for yourself, not for people to be shown. It's, you know, a smallest success or a biggest failure uh, or the biggest success and the smallest failure. You know, you can actually put it on the cross section and realize when you get the biggest success, people criticize and they want to talk negative. You have already spoken about it. Smallest failure, how people project it so that uh, you know you become low down and you are not one more person to be successful person that is something which we need to really understand and the biggest failures we have very 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 big example in the film industry as such which is no other person than Amitabh Bachchan sir himself once upon a time his movies got flopped and the way he came back today movie stories are being written based on him as a character right so i think that is the biggest example and in our ca profession when you talk about we have always been thinking that, you know, we have to do something good for our client. When something bad happens, you will be surprised to know yesterday, which is 12th of August, I completed 15 years of my being in practice. Wow. And the day I got the biggest satisfaction, which was in vain. I'm not telling you 
we opened our Singapore office, but the fact was the person whose first certificate I signed, he passed away on that day. Oh, wow. He's amazing man. Today I have tears in my eyes, but you know, when you are talking about all these realistic things, you know, that person gave me an opportunity to go international. He gave me an opportunity. He said, I'll send you, but tera khana pina I'll take care. I'll not pay you single rupees. But I went and did that assignment for him. When I didn't qualify, he gave me an opportunity to work. Unfortunately, just imagine on 15th of my 15th anniversary, 15th anniversary, I got all the compliments from my institute, my friends and a lot of people. More importantly, getting a confirmation of office opening. But this entire thing just was looking very small when I saw a dearest person like him who gave me, I have his certificate, which I keep it in my drawer. 2,500 rupees I charged him. That's all. And that too, he gave me rather. I didn't charge him. He gave me. And that certificate I am going to retain all throughout my life. The day uh, might be I pass, that day certificate will be there with me. So that I carry every day to make me feel grounded that, you know, you were nothing at one point in time. Life teaches you so many things and you you have really beautifully, you know, there are no words here. Amazing. I have become your fan. I have not seen any movie. <laughs> But having a person like you in this society who's going to, you know, you communicate uh, messages to people at large. You communicate, you give a message to society when on a big screen. You know, a person like you, if he's going to be in the film industry, I think we are going in a very good direction. And uh, fortunately, thanks to you that you have agreed to uh, make uh, you know, a movie uh, where Chartered Accountant is also going to be playing, playing an important role. Anything, anytime, any circumstances, tell us. The battalion of Chartered Accountants will stand for you. And uh, you will not, you will see the best part of the entire thing. And, you know, your success, you have been talking high about your Chartered Accountant. I'm really excited to know who that guy is. I would love to meet him in person. Though you cannot take the name because of X, Y, Z reason, because of our, uh, you know, code of ethics and all. But yes, I am going to reach out through Preksha or Pankaj Bhai and take his name and a personalized letter will go from my side. Oh, thank you so that, much. You know, uh, that, that a person, you know, it is something which is heart touching, you know, when you compliment uh, our own fraternity, he is our own professional brother. And you're talking before everyone. I think there's a huge amount of motivation which people might have carried today. There's no doubt about it. It is like, you know, eye opener and uh, the satisfaction is criticisms are there. But I personally feel criticisms are the step or might be the frame of your success. True. You know, when people feel uh, that you're growing, growing, growing and you've grown big, then obviously people will come and talk about your negativity. So small portion of it we don't want to talk about it, but I think the kind of uh, message you have given, uh, really, I am excited soon to meet you. Uh, and, uh, you know, not as an auditor, but as a friend, <laughs> as a, you know, a person who would like to have a sip of coffee with you, uh, which is my uh, taste of life. So whenever it is possible, we'll surely catch up with Piksha and, uh, you know, but honestly, at the end, I would like to say, you know, both Pankaj Bhai and I were continuously thinking, you know, is it going to take off? Yeah. But you have ensured that our callers have raised to a level. And, you know, this experiment of new way of learning is actually going to give a lot of positive message to our members. And really thanks to, uh, you know, to you and uh, particularly Preksha for ensuring that, you know, you are here and... Uh, uh, this is going to be one of my best, best sessions. I was listening to my past, but I was a speaker for your information on other screen nice, on a country nice. for the entire Southern India region. Nice, sir. Yes. And I was listening to you and speaking also. That's the reason I got motivated and, uh, you know, uh, thrilled. So thank you very much. And, uh, you know, really excited, really excited to see you and might be my kabi kabi bol sakti off record is you know girlfriend ke liye milne ka excitement rehta hai now i have excitement to meet you so we'll make it possible and uh, take it forward thank you very much pankaj bhai great thing great thing preksha uh, i would like you to come in my capacity as a central council member to come on screen if possible
see uh, so that people uh, look at you <laughs> and uh, tell who this uh, little daughter is and uh, how this little girl has grown up to a level where she has one of the best people from the industry god bless you you are with the right set of people we have always talked or heard about the negative side of it but having such wonderful people in industry will take your career to a different level i wish you a great 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 success okay, in sir. that industry and i pray that you know <clears throat> you people create a new example in this uh, nation and as we, i started with this is a new this is a young india and all of us will make this young india proud and we'll ensure that the best of the best things happen because of us god bless you preksha thank you tarun for being with us it's been thank a you. pleasure it's been a pleasure thank you very much yeah thank you so much okay for deepak uh, 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 tarun sir unfortunately it's a covid we could not get a memento for you oh. so <laughs> it's a this virtual memento i oh, promise wow. you once uh, danivas is coming to meet you we'll frame it and get it to you oh, 100% 100% sir this is such an honor i, I think <laughs> thank, thank you way. thank you so much I, I, you can tell you can tell your uh, ca that you have got a certificate from icai <laughs> i know and i think he'll be he'll be so it'll be a great surprise for him he'll be uh, really excited thank you so much sir. means a lot means a lot listening to you it's so heartening that you have really had some very nice words for us and uh, we are actually uh, partners in nation building and uh, you have also made us a partner in personal building and personal bonding thank you tarun sir thank you so much sir it means a lot i think i want to the scanner now so i have to say something <laughs> but uh, i'm not going to steal tarun's thunder he's been a wonderful speaker already so <laughs> he's saying anything is not going to add a lot to this session but thank you tarun and thank you uh, everyone though i'm a ca drop out uh, to let me attend this session <laughs> i was the one who ran away <laughs> to like make it clear <laughs> but uh, thanks i remember when dad was staying with me for a couple of time i forced him into watching inagaran ke mindi that's how this conversation started and that's how karun happened to be here in the session and i'm glad you guys enjoyed i've been reading the comments so i know the students and everyone who's a part of the session did uh, have a couple of takeaways from the session it's very happy for all the cas including my brother who's kind of attending the session right now study november first exams don't <laughs> drop out like me but yes thanks thanks tarun thank you so much thank you man thank you so much for having me in fact uh, i had a great time i think it was a well spent day and i was really looking forward i was actually nervous uh, but i feel like uh, i had a really good time and i think i have a long conversation with my ca and also i'll probably tell him and we'll all catch up sometime hopefully and uh, probably definitely sir, definitely, sir. yes Deepak, sir. yes, sir. Sir, what an ins insightful and inspirational session it was, sir. It is very glad to know how you are focused. There is so much maturity in your thoughts, and it is so natural, crystal clarity. It is very great, sir. You have spoken with heart. It is very reflecting in your thoughts and your face. I am also have become a fan from your of yours from you today, sir. Thank you very much. As our chair, uh, chairman sir has rightly said. it feels that we are in a session uh, in which a guruji is speaking not a tolerant actor <laughs> who has uh, who has done lot of years of tapasya this thoughts coming it in such a early age of career is definitely a value intangible assets you are carrying sir very true uh, as rightly said by you success or failure is just the by product of our hard work it does not define you you are you are clearly passed on the message that emphasis on planning structure approach and belief in yourself is the success mantra you yourself have incorporated a company at such a earlier stage of the career show that you have 
to believe that one has to believe in oneself before other believes you uh, because until you believe yourself the other one will not take you seriously you have to be corporate in your approach professional in your approach then only people take care of your time and value it is a was a it is a very good lesson for all our students young members to chase dreams and accelerate in our respective careers i am very proud sir that, and also same same time thankful to you for trusting our fraternity so much and recognizing your contribution our contribution in your success the satisfaction in the client success is very priceless sir sir i on behalf of entire managing committee of hyderabad branch of sirc of icci i extend warm vote of thanks to you a multi talented person uh, till now there was actor director writer <laughs> now i actually say a very good speaker also a very good uh, philosopher rather uh, the multi talented person for taking out such means valuable time and addressing our audience i thank our central council member dayanivya sir for taking out the time and joining us and sharing his thoughts in a short sir sir we will have a session for you as for your success journey also later in some time i will be failing in duty and if i don't thank thank preksha for taking all the efforts not only not only the coordinating with the speaker but uh, making the videos and all the work she has taken thank you preksha once again personally and also on behalf of our entire committee uh, i also thank each and in every individual participant the list was more than 240 plus at one point of time for attending the webinar on the ev of Best our evening, evening. Yeah. yeah on the eve, eve of pre evening of our independence day 74th independence day celebration i request everyone to please participate in the flag hosting tomorrow in your respective areas of course with social distancing and don't miss the chance to thank our defense police health workers and other agencies who are working round the clock so that we are safe in our offices and home thank you everyone and please join us tomorrow again at 12:30 pm for gca giri shauda station uh, he is also a institutional in itself for in, on incorporating and taxation of private family trust thank you once again stay safe take care thank you pankaj bhai thank you pankaj bhai just one year thing philosopher which i had forgotten to uh, mention in my Introduction. I have added sir. Yes, one request. It's a good time. I am just taking on my iPad uh, the screenshot. Uh, let us all smile because sometimes Bhanu is thinking continuously which actor I should catch. You have been thinking what is the next question I should have. Uh, Tarun has been thinking what is the next question which is going to be. And uh, Preksha is always just waiting at uh, you know to look for the what is the next uh, you know uh, request which is going to come from my dad. and i am lost already so let us just smile at the screen and uh, i would like to take a photo on my yes. uh, ipad yes sir yes thank you thank you so much thank sir. you thank you very much happy independence thank day you. in advance thank to all of you thank you thank you, thank thank you, you so much great uh, listening to you tarun it was fantastic and let's fantastic. catch up sir let's definitely catch up definitely and come i am good also Including me also. Definitely. Yes, yes. And uh, I am a good host, Tarun. Don't worry. Uh, you have a good company to <laughs> talk I about know, multiple things. Know. And Pankaj Bhai is ultimately the person who is going to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I think it will all be accounted for. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, sir.